Hello and welcome to KennyRoy.com. I'm Kenny Roy. This is the Ask of Email for the week of April 20th, 2015. Welcome to the site to you new members. Welcome, sincerely, from the bottom of my heart. Glad you're here and welcome back to the old members. The Ask video mail is your chance to get your question in character animation or performance answered in a video just like this one, but I need your questions if I'm going to answer them, right? Yeah, so please send them to webmaster at kennyroy.com. I go through all the questions. I answer the ones that I think will help the most people. There's no such thing as a stupid question, and it is the best way to get the most out of the site. Man, I must have said that a lot of times. Actually, you know, I can probably figure out exactly how many times I've, I've, I've said that thing, uh, that dang thing, <clears throat> that opening. Let's get it. Just, just we don't need the you know center of the sun brightness on my on my forehead there. Just tilt, <laughs> just turn the uh, brightness down just a little bit. Uh, whenever I, whenever I give myself a haircut, I am reminded about the effects of aging and how shiny my bald head is going to be when I finally do lose my last um, hair up there. Oh well. People say it's stress. I agree with them, frankly. Um, a lot of stress going on, but a lot of good things too. Um, if you, uh, I've uh, asked for the past uh, three weeks, I think now, if you're the finger crossing type, to please do so. Um, there's some major deals on the table um, that I'm I'm trying to take advantage of, and um, if they if they work, if they go through, um, it'll be me mean the big changes for not just my company, but I th I think for animation in general, the 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 way we're doing things. So. Um, Cross fingers, please, if you're that kind of person. Um, not really much else to announce uh, this week. Um, um, I'm not sure if you know this, but um, I've been putting out a few mobile games. It's something something of a hobby of mine now, and um, I'm I'm releasing them under the 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 name Arconix Games. It's not like Arconix is being hired to make any uh, mobile games or apps uh, yet, but I, I do have a lot of fun doing it, and it's been um, very freeing. Uh, there's something about coming up with an idea and it being basically, you know, cons consumed like weeks later instead of like you know months and months and months later, like with a short film, or years later with a with a feature film. Um, that's very exciting. That I that I like a lot, and I think um, I'm going to be doing this for the foreseeable future. So um, that's a lot of that's a lot of fun. So if you just follow me on Facebook, or if you go to the Google Play Store, or the if you search for Kenneth Roy on the App Store, you'll see some of my games. And you go to the Google Play Store and you search for Arconix Games, um, you can see the things that I, I put up there. I appreciate every single download and every single rating. The ratings help you get to the uh, top of searches when you um, when people search for games like yours. So I really sincerely appreciate it. If you have an Android device, please go to the Google Play Store, search for Arconix Games, and then um, download any one you want and um, hopefully give it a good rating if you like it. I would appreciate that. Same thing for the App Store um, as well. But you have to search for Kenneth Roy, and it's, it's just Apple's stupid policy on changing your developer account. Um, so... Uh, I'm, I'm stuck with Kenneth Roy for a little while. Eventually, I'll switch it over to Arconix. Um, but for now, it's Kenneth Roy, which n not even, like, you know, my, my, my mother calls me Kenneth. So <clears throat> that's a little bit weird to see. Um, I think that's it for announcements this week. We will uh, we'll pick it up again next week, uh, depending on how things go. So cross fingers again if you're that kind of guy or gal. Okay, let's check out the question. Here it is. Excellent questions. Now, I wanted to answer this one, namely because last week's um, video mail talked about flying, and I, I, I said, you know, reference is very important. Um, this animator brought up the fact that the gravity is stronger than the gravity on our moon. So what I'm assuming they mean is that it's somewhere between Earth and our moon's gravity. So it's floatier than Earth, but it is stronger than the moon. Well, that does pre present some interesting challenges. Um, for the most part, you can, you can do a little bit of reference um, looking at the moon and just uh, 
uh, try to copy a little bit of what you see there, but I think a more a deeper understanding of how your audience is going to watch this animation is necessary for it to, to for you to get it totally right. And here's the bottom line, um, and I, I said this uh, in last week's video mail um, as well. The bottom line is humans have like this pre-programmed ability to judge trajectories okay um, it has to do with the fact that we all grow up on this planet we're very familiar with the laws of physics as they exist on this planet and um, what it boils down to is making sure you are respectful of our ability to judge um, trajectories and I say trajectories because that is an object that is in free fall. Now, free fall, an orbit is free fall, okay? A object that is thrown into the air upwards is in free fall, all right? Just because at the moment of release it's going up doesn't mean that it's not in free fall. It is in free fall, okay? It just so happens that when it comes out of, pretend this hand's not here. In fact, where'd it go? It's gone. Oh my gosh. Okay. Just because when <laughs> when it leaves his hand and goes up into the air, it's traveling upwards doesn't mean that it's not in free fall. It is. Gravity is the only thing affecting the speed of this object. A little bit of wind resistance, but you know, it doesn't affect it too much at, at these low speeds. Wind resistance is a lot bigger um, at, at higher speeds, okay? So if you drop this out of an airplane, eventually it'll reach its own terminal velocity that's based on how much the wind is actually holding this up um, as each face, and the faces are different sizes, but as each face like faces the, faces the wind. But at any rate, <clears throat> so this, thing, this thing probably has a very fast terminal velocity because it is heavy for its size. Um, so with, with only a little bit of surface area for such a heavy object, um, this thing would fall pretty damn fast. But this thing would not fall very fast. This thing, it's a 3D print, um, so it's, it's very light, it's hollow, um, and um, it's got a lot of surface area for its weight. This way actually weighs a lot less than this thing. Um, so this would have a, a much lower um, terminal velocity. But at any rate, even though I, it's traveling upwards right when I let go of it, it's in free fall and it is subject only to gravity. And now gravity affects things all equally, negating wind resistance, of course. But, but what gravity does is it accelerates towards the ground, towards the center of the mass of the Earth, of course, it accelerates towards the ground at negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Now, that force is lower on smaller planets or moons, meaning the, the acceleration is just slower. What's another way of saying slower? It takes longer. Okay? So, you could say that the gravity is lower and you look lighter, or you could simplify the equation of acceleration being a certain change in speed over time to mean that the time is longer. So it's basically slow motion, and it seems like a cheat to think about it that way or to animate it that way, but it's actually true. It's actually how how it works. Because you only have a couple variables that are at play in, in physics. Simple physics. Um, you know, distance and speed and acceleration and all those things. It's only a couple different variables. There's, there's you know, there's distance, so there's me measurements of length. There is speeds, which is a certain measurement of length divided by a certain a unit of time. Um, it doesn't get much more complicated than that. So if you simplify the equations out, it just takes longer. So it may seem like if I go like this on Earth and I do the exact same thing and it takes twice as long that really I'm just cheating. I'm making it slow motion on Earth, but slow motion on Earth is 
the result of of you know lower gravity on a, on a different planet so maybe to where to start is to think about it as a change in time almost as much as a change in in um, your animation your your arcs and, and, and such another thing to uh, realize is this because we have it so hardwired into our our brains what trajectories look like anything that's in free fall and remember that's that's up and down okay if nothing is touching it, if nothing is adding force then it's in free fall um, the trajectories of, of, of an object have to be have to be like respected and here's a good example of why you know how some people get it like really wrong yeah. if you if you've ever watched Twilight or actually Twilight does it does it very well um, a, a show that does it really poorly was Vampire Diaries and now they're on to a spin-off which I think has taken over Vampire Diaries. I don't think there's any Vampire Diaries anymore. It's just the originals. Anyway, so whenever the, the vampires run really fast, this, is, this always gets me. Let's say you're, you're going to walk down some stairs, okay? Here's some stairs, okay? And you're standing here at the top, all right? If you're going to walk down these stairs, you're going to go clop, 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 right? And you're just going to take those steps. And what always pisses me off about when they try to make it look like a creature, like either a vampire or some, like the Flash, or somebody can move really quickly. He's up here. Here, let me put like a little Flash symbol. Right? He's up here, and he says, "Well, I gotta go," and he pew, runs away. But what he does is he zooms down here, and 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 then you know zooms away like at a million miles an hour. When that's totally BS. Why is it BS? Because we only hit every single stair because the speed that we are moving forward makes it so that we free fall that distance every step. Okay? But if you multiply this speed forward, you're scaling this trajectory. Okay, so if in the same amount of time, let's, let's go to time now. If in the same amount of time that I take one step, the flash can take 10 steps, okay? Let's just 1 to 10, even though the flash is supposed to be like lightning, right? Let's just say it's like 10 times as fast. If you can take 10 steps, then if you look at this Y arc, it would only stretch that y arc out all right when the flash takes his first step it would be out here right he would he'd never go down all these steps he would burst off of the the top here and then keep going and so that's what always pisses me off is because what they do is they just speed up the footage or what they or they they try to make it look like the footage is not sped up by having by like you know having like a still plate of like everything else or like showing you something that's not moving quickly like a water fountain or trees rustling in the background and they have the vampire you know the actor turn and run away and then they just they rotoscope and just speed up just that character and make it so that everything else like the rustling leaves or like a car going slowly by or something in the foreground or the other character standing there and looking at them still stays you know relatively you know well the same speed really and and then, therefore the other person looks like they they ran really quickly away but we can tell instantaneously that it's just sped up footage because they are speeding up the the free fall that's that's supposed to be occurring right here all right 10 times faster does not mean that you fall 10 times faster okay it just means that your your speed this way is 10 times faster you would have to have 10 times more gravity on your body if you were if if you were going to uh if, if you were going to expect that and that's not how it works you do actually have more um higher gravity um the 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 the, um, the faster you go, but only when you start approaching the speed of light do you actually um, 
do you actually uh, 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 start gaining mass on on a measurable scale? And um, maybe the, maybe that's the Flash's excuse. But like these vampires that are supposed to be running at uh, I don't know, say like 200 miles an hour, you don't double or triple in weight, um, and therefore gravity uh, it, it, going like 200 miles an hour. Otherwise, you know, you'd have a you know race car drivers you know, like creating black holes on the, on the racetrack or something crazy like that. Anyway, so um, this is what you need to respect. You need to respect the fact that if you're going to have your character, for instance, like um, uh, moving around, doing anything that involves like contact with the ground at, at, at certain times and intervals, like walking or jumping or shooting or whatever, you have to respect the trajectory. And already with lighter gravity, this trajectory, this free fall trajectory is going to be stretched out. So those would be, those would be my, my main tips on how to make sure that it, it stays looking uh, um, pretty good. Just basically, uh, just a basic understanding of how free fall works and respecting your audience's ability to pick out, you know, bull crap um, and not trying to, you know, not trying to, you know, kind of like slip one by them because they, they, they know, they can see. Um, I liked the vampires in Twilight because they ran almost like the ninjas in Crouching Tiger, uh, Hidden Dragon. They ran almost like they were on wires and they were like running through the trees. And when there was like a shot of them like running really fast, they weren't like running along the ground and like, like you know, like going up and down like along the ground. They were like, like one foot and then like just like one like skipping step and then flying forward off of that that's how you would actually have to run you know on in earth's gravity so it's really good um so it's basically the opposite of that approach if you're if you want to make someone run one run slow or move slowly on on a planet with light gravity it's a short answer it's a great question i love that question everyone please send in more that's the address to send them to you can even send me your maya file if you're having trouble i love opening up maya files on on camera and uh getting into the nitty-gritty the nuts and bolts of your scene it's a lot of fun i'm kenny roy this has been a blast good luck with your animation as always rock on